sorry, that in three areas, rice-based farm systems development in Nueva Ecija, system of rice intensification or SRI in Bataan, and coconut-based diversified integrated farm systems in Quezon. Notably, SRI has been tested to significantly increase rice yield from the country's average of 3.5 tons per hectare up to 10 to 12 tons while maintaining soil fertility without the use of modern seeds and chemical fertilizers and even less irrigation water. An ongoing SRI training project supported by the Department of Agriculture has thus far trained an average of 30 farmers in each of 30 provinces. PRRM has also helped establish social enterprises around industry-based value-adding activities as well as alternative livelihood schemes. The Cooperativang Likas ng Nueva Ecija, or Cool NE, continues to function as a rice-based social enterprise with production financing and marketing operations. PRRM also seeks to facilitate the marketing activities of partner POs outside their provinces by linking them to institutional buyers and to POs in other areas through a system called the Rural Reconstruction Trade or RR Trade. The Lagawi Highlands Rural Bank, now also known as Banco Lagawi, was launched in 1999 as a result of PRRM's efforts to establish a people's bank in the province of Ifugao. Banco Lagawi expands the banking services available to POs and cooperatives, small producers and entrepreneurs, thus playing a key role in the development of marginalized groups, as well as the local economy of Ifugao. Microfinance operations are ongoing in six other provinces, Nueva Ecija, with Cool NE, Bataan, Quezon, Marinduque, Camigin, and Cotabato. Eco-development tourism operations are ongoing in two provinces, Ifugao and Camigin. The area of community-based health programs has included the training of community health workers, community education on the preventive aspects of primary health care, the establishment of health referral systems, health campaigns such as environmental sanitation, herbal gardening, herbal medicine preparation, the establishment of village drugstores or botica sa barangay, and the promotion of eating organic, indigenous, and healthy food. Recent health-related initiatives have included ensuring reproductive health in local government plans and budgets and training peer educators to address problems on HIV-AIDS. The development of community-based small-scale infrastructure has included the installation of potable water systems as well as community-managed light infrastructure such as trails, footbridges, and livelihood support infrastructure in remote communities. PRRM's involvement in disaster relief and rehabilitation began in the late 1980s in response to the sugar crisis in Negros Occidental. Relief intervention took the form of food aid followed by post-disaster rehabilitation through livelihood assistance and health services delivery. Major relief interventions were also launched after the 1990 earthquake, focusing on Nueva Vizcaya. After the 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption, PRRM likewise undertook relief projects in Bataan, Pampanga, Tarlac, and Zambales. Relief and rehabilitation have also been the focus of projects responding to super typhoons and the El Nino phenomenon. The Conrado Benitez Institute for Sustainability, or CBIS, serves as the main training, research, and technical assistance arm of PRRM. The CBIS has a faculty drawn from among PRRM's Board of Trustees, chapter members, staff and partner people's organizations, as well as from other training institutes, NGOs, and POs. It operates as a community of knowledge rather than as a single isolated institution. This is to ensure that it is able to draw from the widest possible source of best practices in sustainable development for sharing through its training and publication programs. 
local community learning centers include the Ifugao Heritage and Community Education Center in Kiangan, an Upland Resource Management Center in Nueva Vizcaya, a Sustainable Agriculture Technology and Resource Center in Nueva Ecija, the PRRM Bicol Resource Center in Camarines Sur, and the Camigin Community Education Center in Mambahao. PRRM's National Training Institute or NTI in San Leonardo, Nueva Ecija also serves as currently doing studies on alternative sources of fuel, sustainable agriculture technology, coconut products. Since the late 1980s, PRRM has been consistently involved in all sorts of advocacies for social and environmental justice. It has claimed some space in every imaginable site of struggle where people's welfare is at stake, from barangay elections to United Nations events, from World Bank and Asian Development Bank meetings to dialogues with corporations. The point of such engagement with state and market forces is to get them to commit to policy reforms and see to it that reforms actually take place. PRRM also undertakes advocacy campaigns at the national and local levels, both by itself and in collaboration with other organizations, to promote policies and programs that benefit small farmers, fishers, indigenous peoples, women, and youth. It is active in advocacies on several themes and issues with various partners. It is through the combination of policy advocacy and field intervention that PRRM and its partners have sought to transform the substance and process of Philippine development, promote the equitable distribution of development gains, and build empowered, sustainable communities. Not relief, but release.